The Boston University Lima Yakucho program, it's a really interesting program because first of all, it brings you to Latin America. I'm an IR major um, focusing on the region of Latin America, but there's only so much you can learn from a book. We start off with three weeks in Lima where we learn about Peruvian literature specifically. And then after we had those three weeks, we traveled up into the mountains, into the Sierra, which is Ayacucho. From here, we go to four days in Cusco and get to climb Machu Picchu, which I haven't seen yet, but I'm pretty excited about that one. The program involves improving our Spanish in classes and learning about the history of Peru. We have host families, so we're speaking Spanish at home, and it's cultural, so we get to do cultural activities, go to plays, eat at the restaurants. We've gone on a couple hikes already. To me, it was just incredible to experience another culture. The first part of the program, it's three weeks in Lima, which is a major city of almost nine million people. We study in La Católica. And in Lima, it's an amazing city. It's gigantic. Actually, half of the population, I think, lives in the city. And so there's always something to do, always something new to see. And then we spend three weeks in Ayacucho, which is a provincial city of 150,000. Ayacucho is an experience like no other. In Ayacucho, we're studying the Sendero Luminoso. It's been incredibly interesting because it actually happened here in Ayacucho and that in itself is absolutely amazing just to get a first-person view of how this terrorist organization really affected this region. Today we're at a museum and uh, it's a museum uh, concerning the torture and the sadness that happened here 20, 25 years ago. There's some graphic parts but uh, it's a definitely an interesting thing, a really sad thing that happened. Tantos desaparecidos, tantos muertos. Más que nada, sus familiares de los desaparecidos vivimos en una tortura, ¿no? Preguntando Si estarán vivo o estarán muerto, pero están muerto, ¿dónde están? It's taking everything we've been learning in class and making it more personal by us having to interact with people who have experienced it and asking them questions about it. People are still struggling to try to get over it and you see that on the streets as Ayacucho is one of the poorest departments in Peru. You still hear about how people's lives are affected now. My host family, their lives were greatly affected when the violence started here in Ayacucho. And just having a discussion with them about what I'm learning in class has really added to the experience. It was just great to to live in such a dynamic household where I got to learn so much just from the people. At this point we only have about a, a week and a half left and I'm really excited to finish the academic portion of it and really see Machu Picchu and really see the capital of the Inca Empire. Everyone's here for the same reasons. They want to explore, they want to learn. To be able to come to Peru and to be able to actually go to those places, that's been really amazing. <laughs>